Hello and welcome to this Backwards Battle Commentary. Today we're looking at Batman Volume 8 Super Heavy. This is written by Scott Snyder with pencils by Greg Capullo. He also does some of the inking as well. Um, Danny Mickey does the rest of the inking for, for some of the issues. Um, and then there's a, a whole host of other um, contributors. So please do check out um, the DC website for, for the full list. It's extensive, but it is definitely worth it. Now, this um, volume collects uh, Batman's issues 41 to 45. Um, and in the middle there, we have uh, two guest um, artists, uh, Brian Azzarello and Jock. They do an amazing job, but we'll get to their part in a bit. So, if you haven't read Endgame or you do not know what happens, this may be a time to turn off. All I'm going to say is this is a great... A great a great issue a great volume to read definitely worth your time um but again if you if you don't want to know what happened in endgame then please turn off now and we'll speak again later for all those who have read endgame or don't know or who, who don't mind the spoilers or just found out the who what happens then we're going to carry on from now so um jim gordon becomes batman uh, batman is mia um missing in action we don't know what's happened to him he fell uh with at the end of endgame with the joker presumed dead Full stop. So, what we get instead is um, Powers International have taken over Wayne Tech, and they're basically looking to, how should we put it? Um, they want to still have um, a a Batman presence on the streets of Gotham. Obviously, the thing about Gotham is it seems like a, a magnet for every single crazy person in the world. So, do you still need that protection? And obviously, without Batman there, the criminals can run run things. So, what what Powers do is they um, initiate a program with the GCPD. Um, trying to um, find a recruit to be Batman. They also uh, use um, their technology, so to speak, and that they acquired from Wayne Tech to create a giant Batman. Now, this is just a metallic suit. Um, it's about eight foot tall, uh, made of uh, some sort of you know, special metal, tons of armaments, bombs, missiles, all that sort of the malarkey, and away we go. The idea being is that the, the person who can be Batman can just be something a little bit different because he's going to be working inside the law. He can be more of a, a pacifier and, and you know, as opposed to being a, a assassin slash ninja type, type style. So they go through the usual ring morale of trying to find um, a few people. It feels a bit men in blackish where they're trying to find a recruit. Um, and instead they opt for Jim Gordon. Now Jim Gordon is, a, I think he says in the series, I think he says he's 42, which is quite worrying because it's quite close to my age. But big tash, uh, smoke, chain smoking um, policeman. So um, obviously at the beginning there's, there's a bit of, of kerfuffle about whether he's going to take the job, a bit of decision making, all the rest of it. And it's quite And it's quite well played out. But again, what happens is, again, he takes the suit. And as you can see um, from the from the cover there, yeah, Batman suit, great big Batman tank robot behind him, fag in his mouth, all a bit strange but pretty cool. So what we are getting is um, him going through his first sort of missions. He's the good thing about about Gordon is he's very much he's Batman in some ways and he's not Batman in others. He's not Batman in the way that he's not he was an ex-marine apparently, but he's not a ninja. Um, he's that sort of that uh, stealth attack sort of style he does not have but what he has got is the detective side so that detective side um, that we all love about Batman Gordon's got the same sort of idea he knows the streets he knows Gotham he knows the criminals and that way he can work stuff out in a way maybe not quite you know not quite as intuitive as, as Batman but it still works out really well because it's centered in the city and that's something I think that um, Stein does really well is that he gives Batman that identity of the city and I, and I like really like that about it Capullo's art is great um, he's you know as you can see there's lots of square chins lots of strong jaws um, we get to see um, obviously Batman um, and, and the Batsuit um, uh, Alfred's in there we even get a few guest appearances from people like Clark Kent all a bit all a bit strange but all great and again the the, the, the visuals are just jump out at your points the colouring as well you know is, is absolutely amazing and you do see a difference in this in this volume because you go from um, the, the bright coloured style of Gopulo and, and it goes into the, the Jock and Azarello which comes quite darker it's like a, a bit of a, a throwback no not throwback a bit of a, a backstory and again you can feel it and it, it makes it read in, re in one sitting a lot easier I will say that um, again I've read it a few times but again because it's got that break in the middle a one a one a one um, sitting read isn't a problem but don't do that again. Read it a few times because it does give you a hell of a hell of a lot of information on the pages. More the more time you spend with it, 
But again, um, as, as far as, as in this whole run goes, it's not the strongest volume, I'm not going to lie. I pref per Personally speaking, you know, I love the Corval stuff and things like that. But again, this is still a really good series. And again, Batman is, is, is D DC's, I think it's probably DC's top series, basically, for me, personally. Um, and again, when, when DC lose Capullo and Snyder off this series... Um, I hope they they bring on a team that can do can do this work, and I'm sure they will do. They know the fact that Batman is is the their is, is their big 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 cow, so they're going to protect it as much as they can. So um, thank you very much for listening. Again, highly recommended. Um, the whole series from Batman, the whole run has been great. Um, so though there are, if you're going to start with Batman, I suggest going back to right to the beginning of, the, of this run. So what was that 2011? Quite a lot of backstory to go back to, but again, I think you'd enjoy it all the way through. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please do leave any comments or quotes below if you, if you want to get in contact with us or leave, let us know anything or ask us any questions or, or tell me that I'm wrong. So do take care. Thank you very much and good night.